Okay, so welcome back. Now that we're going to do another example. And in this example, uh, we are given this equation again. So it's the equation of a circle with a radius of 5. And now they want us to find the second derivative of y with respect to x. Now, we already found in the previous example, or in the previous video, we found uh, dy dx, right? So we found the first derivative, and we know that dy dx is equal to negative x over y. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the, we're going to take the second derivative, which means we're going to take the derivative of both sides again. So that's going to give us, right, so d squared y over dx squared, right? Because we're taking this second derivative here. Uh, we're taking the derivative of this thing. So I can say, okay, let's take the derivative of this thing with respect to x, and then let's take the derivative of this thing with respect to x, right? And so I'm going to get this on the left. Now, what happens over here? I have to use the quotient rule here. So in this case here, it's going to be low d high, so it's going to be low times the derivative of the high. So let's put the negative sign um, with the x, okay? So it's the derivative, uh, it's low d high, so y times the derivative of the top, which is going to be negative 1, minus uh, the top, right, which is negative x, times the derivative of the bottom. So low d high minus high d low. So in this case, it's going to be dy dx divided by the bottom squared. So that's where we're going to get y squared. Now, okay, well, let's simplify this. This is just going to equal um, x dy dx minus y over y squared. Okay, but be careful. We would not stop here. Because guess what? We know what dy dx is equal to. We solved that before. dy dx is equal to negative x over y. So we can do a substitution here. So this is going to be x times negative x over y minus y over y squared. Okay, so now we're going to simplify this some more. Okay, so we're going to get negative x squared minus y squared over y. So all I did was multiply these together to get the negative x squared and then got a common denomination, common denominator of y. So I get y squared, so then I just put it together. And then this is all going to be over y squared. Now, if I change this to a multiplication, since I have this over 1, then of course this is going to end up being um, yeah, negative x squared minus y squared over y times 1 over y squared. And that's going to give me negative x squared plus y squared over y cubed. Okay. Now, do you have to factor out the negative here? No, I, I did. Um, but you don't have to. And that's it. That's the answer. So be careful. Just because you solve it here and then you simplify it, again, we want if we're able to substitute, do it, okay? Anything to simplify it, okay? So now we've got the second derivative in terms of x's and y's. And we can't simplify it any further, so we are finished. That's it. Have a great day.